Hi, Mike. Good to have you back. Uh, you, you went home to a lockdown state. How, what did you do to keep yourself in shape uh, when you couldn't go running off to a gym or the fields where all had chain link fence with locks on it? Uh, but first, it's uh, great to be back. And uh, I was actually pretty fortunate. Um, one of my one of my high school teammates, um, they, he actually has a pretty much a full in home gym in his house. Wow. Okay. So I was able to pretty much not miss a beat uh, in terms of all the lifting because uh, I was fortunate enough to still be pretty close with him, even though he's he's a little bit younger. But he plays at uh, Colgate, so we were just working out the whole quarantine, and uh, it actually worked out pretty well. Okay. Yeah, you get you're a veteran now. You're coming in. Uh... Just talk about your role in the huddle uh, when, uh, you know, I mean, you're taking on a leadership position. Just talk about that. Uh, it's definitely, definitely a big step. Um, you got to be more, a little bit more vocal uh, when it comes to that type of leadership and stepping up. Also, it has to be an example of on the field. Like, you got to make sure that you're doing everything right and leading by example as well, not, uh, not just being more vocal, but just making sure that everything's going good. The guys are all right, checking in on them off the field as well, making sure that they're doing well and uh, everything is good, especially in a time like now. Okay, just talk about bringing a physical presence to the safety position, you know, run support. Just talk about the overall job you have to perform. Uh, it's, it's a lot. Uh, you know, you get to uh, roam around in the post a little bit, uh, try and make some plays. Also, sometimes, you know, you're up, up on the line of scrimmage and you got to get a little dirty in there with the offensive line and make some plays with the running back. But uh, it's fun. I, I love it. Uh, it's a good time. It, um, it's been interesting kind of transitioning into that role. That wasn't always what I enjoyed to do when I was younger. But uh, getting there, you know, kind of getting a feel for the position, learning the position, and really getting used to it, uh, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. I love it. Couldn't, couldn't picture doing anything else. And just your uh, so your role as your starter, uh, just what is your opinion of the quarterbacks and the wide receivers of the Atlantic Coast Conference? Uh, I think the, the ACC has a lot of talent uh, at the quarterback and wide receiver position. I mean, might even go out on a limb and say that they might have the most talent in, in the uh, out of all the Power Five conferences. But you know, they bring a lot of speed. Uh, the quarterbacks have good arms, good decision makers. Uh, some. You, some of the guys are pretty good dual threats uh, quarterbacks, which brings a whole other challenge to the field. But I think the ACC has a lot of talent when it comes to quarterbacks and wide receivers. Okay, thanks, Dan. Go ahead. Mike, uh, I, uh, I, I asked a couple of uh, the other guys from different positions. I asked Coach, I just asked Dennis about it. The, the introductions uh, to practice when you guys are walking in before you get in. Uh, first off, what, what do the DBs do? Uh, we kind of switch it up every day. Uh, we we haven't really had a, a set thing yet. Um, everybody has their own little flair to it. So we, we let a different guy take it every day, kind of uh, just it adds to the fun of it because um, everybody's got their own creativity. So you like to see uh, what guys got like today. Uh, we had one guy give a little speech and uh, it got us, got us riled up for practice. We were ready to go. It was good. Um, but we're working on getting a little more creative. You know, we have we haven't had any dances or anything, but we'll see we'll see what we got coming down uh, for the next couple of practices. Um, Personality-wise, with this team, just to see some of that stuff come out. Um, I asked Coach about the the fun and, and being able to get serious. How important is it for you guys, first of all, just to have that fun, to have that you know personality in your in your position group, to then be able to get out on the field and, and when it comes time, dial dial it in and, and go and go fast. Yeah, I think it's super important to let guys show their personalities. Because um, when when guys are showing their personalities, that's when guys are having fun, and when guys are having fun, they're playing playing their best ball because uh, they're just playing stress free. But like you said, it's the importance of being able to dial it back in. And I think that we're we're learning that. Um, get we're getting a lot better with it, getting being able to dial in and getting serious when it comes to practice. And, but yeah, it's it's great. It's great to see all the different personalities. Um, we've seen uh, in some of the notes come out some of the different receivers that we we maybe haven't seen names of before. Like like I know uh, Taji Johnson has uh, had a couple of catches. Uh, Zayish come up a bunch, and uh, and some of the other guys like Ethan Williams. Uh, seeing fast, agile receivers and and being able to run with them on the field. Um, what what challenges that present for you defensively? Um, first of all, and, and second of all, you know how is that 
preparing you opposite what you might have seen uh, in the ACC in the past or, or even on film? Uh, the challenges it brings is you, you have to make sure that your technique is, is perfect every day because if you're out there practicing your technique's not good, they're just going to run right by you and you're not going to look very good. And then uh, when it comes to preparing for, for the games, it's, it's great to see in practice because it's what you're going to see in the game. So you're getting, a, you're getting a great look at what you're going to see and being able to practice against that every single day. It's going to uh, make you better when it comes to Saturday or Friday or wh whenever the games we play. So I think it's, it's really helpful to see the guys like that um, in practice. And last one for me, the, um, I remember it was probably a week ago or so, um, TJ Ram was talking about having on the defensive line to have to know what the safeties are doing, who's deep to, to help when they have to get through the line and the communication. Um, for us, is that part of the, the fundamentals that, that Coach Lukabu and, and the defensive backs are, are learning too? And is that a, a thing that, you know, when you, when you look at what the defensive linemen are doing, first of all, do you have to know what the D-line is doing and, and how does that impact what you're doing? Yeah, we have to know. We have to know the general sense of what they're doing, because uh, just the way our, our defense it works, everybody's working together. So everybody has to know what everybody's doing. Uh, that way, um, you're just like doing the right things. You're in the right places, um, having, and that's how we're gonna have success is by all eleven guys doing their job. And you don't have to do more than your job. You just gotta do what you do. And you know, by knowing what the other people are doing, you'll know where your help is, and uh, everything will be. Everything works out. Any shot of getting you on the line, line up opposite a tackle and see if you can get through them? Hey, I mean, I don't know you have to talk to a coach about that one. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. No Thanks, problem. Mike.